Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and we are at this moment of recording 99 days away from Season 3, Echoes Within for Halo Infinite. It starts March 7th. Now what we know as of right now for that new season is that there will be a new weapon, a new equipment, a new battle pass, of course, new narrative events, the custom game browser, forge updates, new game modes, new fracture event, but... We know that there are two maps coming. One is an arena map and one is a big team battle map. Now, this past update, the winter update, we got two new maps, but they're both 4v4. Now, I'm going to tell you why that bothers me in just a second and what 343 should probably do to alleviate those concerns. But before we get into the rest of the video, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support. We are currently grinding away to 15,000 subs, so if you love Halo and you like unbiased, I guess discussions on it make sure you sub a ton of you like 90 percent of you aren't sub to the channel so just go ahead just hit that sub button i know you watch the videos but anyways there's like four btb maps in the game right now breaker being the newest one and you know i play a lot of btb i enjoy btb it's probably my favorite game mode you know as i guess outside of arena and the problem is, is that there is so much fatigue that comes with that because there's only four maps and you play them over and 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 over again. I guess I have no one to blame but myself. But with Forge being out and people making new maps and whatnot, I think that 343 needs to find a couple of, you know, Forge council members, some real talented forge creators to add on to the map count i guess in the next season i know we're getting a pit remake soon that's another 4v4 map but btb needs some love that's that's to me the the casual social playlist of this game i think that's where a lot of people flock to and i think that it's been hurting for content for quite a while yes i know there's a custom game browser coming out next season as well but really what i would like to see is some well-made maybe themed maps come to btb maybe have four maps added on to the one that is developer made and that would be absolutely massive i know that they talk about you know the amount of time that goes into it making sure it's optimized the map of course the spawns are correct and on and on and on but really if you have you know somebody working on that for 99 days i would hope by the time that the season launches that you know, it's it's in good condition. I mean, that's a third, right? Right? No, a fourth of the year, third, what? Yeah, 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 math. I just think it's so important to have user-generated content in an official playlist, especially for Halo. And really, I, I can't think of a ton of games that are like that anyways, where there's user-generated content that's just readily available. You don't have to do the custom game browser and whatnot. I know it's a philosophical discussion regarding the custom game browser and you know, who's going to use it and why and why it's important. And if that's already there, then what's the point of, you know, having these other playlists? But I really do think that people will always gravitate towards, especially if they're a casual or just, you know, they play once in a while, these official playlists that they can just click on that are curated by 343 and just hop into the match. That's just my opinion. So really, I, I would love to see that. Get get some talented folks on there. You know, we, we are getting a decent amount of 4v4 maps, and that's good too. You know, you definitely want some type of variety in those maps. But let me know in the comments down below if you think this is a good idea, if you think that 343 should be working more with the Forge Council members. I have no idea what's going on. You know, I, I remember them saying that that, you know, the Forge Council members have been working on maps for months and months and months, you know, on their um, their Forge release that they had. And I think that maybe when they had the retail version of Forge come out that they couldn't port it over, but now there's a bot that's helping people do that. So I don't know what's happening. I just want to see some new maps, man. But that's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!